Hello everyone, my name is Tabriz. In this video, I will show you how you can integrate a Google pie chart with a SharePoint page. So this method is this this method is so simple, and this will work fine with both version of SharePoint, SharePoint Online and SharePoint On Premise. For this demo, I have a, a tickets list. Uh, this ticket list contains some ticket information, and based on the ticket status. Uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to calculate how many number of ticket uh, available in this list so this is status there are four status available in my list in progress open pending and closed so based on uh, these status I will calculate how many number of ticket is available in this list and after that I will bind uh, I will bind information with Google pie chart so see what important steps is important before start uh, start this demo so first you have to use some J JS files so there are basically three types of JF uh, JS files I am going to use it for this demo I am just uh, using their CDN that is available uh, on so first is uh, first CDN is I am going to use for loader.js second one is jQuery min.js and third one is spservice.min.js you can uh, directly use this uh, download this libraries and you can put this in a site action site asset library and you can use from there or you can directly use the CDN for these libraries in your HTML page so after this you I am going to use uh, a closing uh, opening and closing a skip tag in my HTML code and between these co this these script tag I will write some code so the code will be uh, first I've declared uh, will declare uh, declared a return items variable this will uh, contain all the return item values in it and after that I add a function called load Google lib library and draw this will uh, basically this is of uh, this is a method that I'm going to uh, use for binding a Google pie chart to my page so first is Google chart dot load this will uh, load the Google chart on my current page and the package will be the core chart core chart is basically a reference to a pie chart and after that Google dot chart dot set dot on load callback this set on load callback function will uh, going to call a visualized data when a visualized data will call then uh, all the information is going to bind with the uh, return item variable and I will bind this value with my pie chart so the visualized data function contains following code so first is get the current context of the uh, SharePoint site and after that get the list I have a list uh, name tickets I am just passing the uh, I am passing the some uh, some element your custom list name here I will pass uh, my list name and as I pass the list name the information is coming from my list after that I provide a, a create a camel sp dot camel query variable camel variable and set the view XML for that and after that return item get the list dot get items this uh, actually return all the information all the items to the return items and then load the return item vari uh, va variable to the current context and after if uh, execute the execute query async method if everything will fine then it will call the on succeeded callback otherwise it will call the on failed callback function so this is a code for on succeeded succeeded callback here i basically count for every variable for for every status count open pending in progress and closed after that i have an enumerator the, this will iterate for every uh, record in my list so i you i am using here a while loop and this M A A enumerator dot move next actually move uh, record to record so I in in this while loop I ca count all the values how many number of time a particular status ticket will appear in my list after that I as you see in the right side a date variable 
call data is basically uh, used for uh, content uh, data table that I'm going to bind with so it basically I use a data dot add columns method add columns basically uh, add a column to my uh, chart so this contains two values first is status and second one uh, uh, count so and after that I will add a here uh, you can see I, I add a data dot add row so I am adding rows to my chart so as you see there is a status name open in progress pending and closed in and the right side you can see count open all my the count that I counted in my while loop and after that you can see in the options I uh, set the title for this chart incident by status and at last I am going uh, I basically map a chart and and give a information about what type of chart I am going to bind with so you can see here uh, I created a variable chart is equal to new google dot visualization dot pie chart and here I get the ID from uh, my HTML code and draw the chart on that uh, on that basically uh, on that element so this uh, you can see here on fail callback if the callback is not succeeded then this uh, on callback function will call and all the information in uh, set in the message and after that I finally you uh, you can see uh, what is the HTML script I am uh, where I am going to render my pie chart so as you see on uh, load up the body I call the load google lib and draw function and when it calls and then all the information is passed through as you see in the input uh, first I take a uh, input tag that is uh, ID name is custom list name and the name of my list is your custom list name and the value I provided is a ticket this is the name of my list and this is a basically a hidden type so this will not show on my page and after that you can see a display div and a pie chart in the pie chart I am going to bind my pie chart so see what how whole code it looks like so this is the whole code as you see here there you go head I am loading all the serians and then return item and after that you can see my load google live and draw function and then visualize function on the success of this execute query then on success callback and then I am declare all the variable and the enum enum enumerator count all the values and after that I am bind with my all the counts with the data and then I am going to represent this chart and bind with the ID name pie chart you see here you see and on body load this will call the function let's copy all the code now go to the site content now create a page so first go in the site pages here you can create your own page so click on files and choose wiki page or web part page for this demo I am actually choosing a wiki page give a name to your page ok just insert a script editor web part here as you you can find it in media and content section a script editor and click on add just click on the down arrow button that are in the right side and click edit web part after that you will find the edit snippet button here and put all your code here okay and just click on insert as you click on the insert button and click on ok to save this script and after that click on save button as you click on the save button you you see here your pie chart is drawn and this uh, the basically uh, there are four values in the pie chart open in progress pending and closed when you hover over a particular section it basically show the status of the ticket and the count below it that open for open ticket it has only a th 31 tickets for open 7 closed tickets, 16 pending tickets and 
19 in progress ticket and based on these uh, uh, count count of ticket the percentage value is also visible so as you see here this is so simple nothing to worry about it as you see you are not able to see here and my title if you go and change the code for this I only uh, click the and copy the code as I change the some little change here and if I go again edit web part just click on the edit snippet button paste the code you can uh, set height with height and width of your chart also as I said 500 400 and then click on insert button then ok save you find the title also incident by status and all is working fine so uh, this is the very simple steps to uh, integrate a Google pie chart with your SharePoint page. I hope you enjoyed. So thank you everyone and please like and share this video with your friend if you like it and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.